So today I'm going to be showcasing an update that Greenville somewhat forgot about. Now obviously they probably didn't actually forget about it, but it's something they really haven't talked about since it was teased. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. Before we get into today's video though, as always, make sure to leave a like and subscribe as we are on the road to 19.4k subscribers. It would be greatly appreciated. We are getting ever so closer to 20k. And for those guys who want to join my Discord server to step in with all of Greenville and South West Florida's update information, make sure to leave that in the description below. But anyways, let's get straight into the video. So as most of you guys probably remember, in April, when one of the Greenville updates in that month did drop, they didn't actually put it in any of the change logs. However, a lot of players noticed that if you actually went over to the industrial area in Greenville, and you know, you're just driving down the main road here and like looking at all these wonderful buildings right here, you know, but then you keep driving and then you see this. And obviously this doesn't really seem like a uh, finished building here and it looks more like a construction site. So, you know, obviously people were very curious by this, you know, so they drove up to the front of the building, saw that little construction truck thing right there, you know, and a lot of people were wondering what happened to the Sahara building as that was the building that was here before this. And overall, it was very peculiar. And then a lot of people also noticed that they put a poster at the very front here that said, this location is coming soon, GB development. So a lot of players speculated that this was going to come in the next like one or two updates after this construction site was actually created. Obviously, this isn't the first time that Greenville has created a construction site either. And since in the past, Greenville usually would make construction sites and then release the finished building at the update after, a lot of people kind of just assumed that would be the case this time as well. Obviously though, it has now been almost two months and we still have no news of what this building is going to be changed into, whether or not it's going to be a revamped Sahara building, or if it's going to be something completely different. And on top of that, we don't have any progress on the building either. So it's all very, like, peculiar. And some players have been speculating that this building could be finished in the next update, but to be fair, people were saying that same thing last update as well, so there isn't really any 100% way to tell. And it is more or less just a surprise. The reason why I sort of say Greenville seems to have forgotten about this is just because of their lack of input regarding this. Like, they literally haven't mentioned a single thing in regards to what this is supposed to be about, ever since it was added and even now we still don't know obviously though i think it is pretty safe to say that they are just remodeling the sahara building likely to have an interior this time and i'm guessing if they're going out of their way to give it its own construction site and whatnot which they don't usually do it that often anymore then i'd say that it's pretty probable that they are going to add a interactive job alongside it as well which would be absolutely sick i'm assuming that what this would entail is it would kind of be similar to the gvps worker job where you essentially get given a 1990 chevlon postal van obviously you would get a sahara delivery van instead and you would probably get waypoints on your map and whatnot to where you have to drive to to deliver the items however considering that there is already a job literally exactly like this in game right now i'm kind of hoping that if they do end up adding a sahara delivery interactive job that there is something different about it that makes it a bit cooler like for example maybe you actually have to physically grab the packages from the factory and like put them into your truck and stuff and then you have to deliver them at the front door and whatnot because although a job like gvps is very cool we already have something exactly like it so it's not like we really need another one especially because as it is gvps isn't a very popular job unfortunately Unfortunately. So hopefully they do actually twist it up a bit so it is a bit fun. I mean, it could even possibly be very cool to have some sort of like actual delivery service that players themselves can use. Obviously, that could be very far-fetched of an idea, but I feel like that would definitely be the ideal situation. Anyways, okay, so thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe as well. Learning to 19.4k subscribers, so it'd be greatly appreciated. Thank you guys so much for the crazy support as of recent. And once again, for those of you guys who want to join my Discord server, that is in the description below. For those of you guys who want to step in with all of Greenville and South Florida's update information. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.